everyone. So today's exercise is going to consist of two pieces of equipment. And Gage is here to help me go over this tutorial. But um, a floor mat and the, a dip station. And I got this dip station, I think, from... I'm sure Amazon has them. I think I specifically got this one from, it's actually got a sticker on it, ultimatebodypress.com. And I think this was around $60 for this, but with, the ver with a variety of different exercises that you can do it for, um, I really do think it's a good value. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's gonna be really difficult for you to do this workout today. So this is gonna be the Extreme Dip Station Superset. And we're gonna do six exercises, but we're only gonna, we're gonna do them in groups of two. So there's gonna be three rounds. And um, the first, and we're gonna time each round. So the first two exercises that we're gonna superset back to back is gonna be the lunge with the straight leg lifts and then pull-ups. So I'm gonna kinda hopefully angle this where you got a good view. So we're gonna do we're standing like this in, in the um, dip station, actually standing straight to get started. And we're gonna lunge back on whichever side, we're gonna alternate them as we go through the exercises. And then we're gonna leg lift. Then we'll alternate to the other side, leg lift. And we're gonna do 10 of those. After we finish 10 of those, we're gonna, um, do pull-ups, which is going to be, you're, you're sitting basically inside the dip station, and then you're just pulling up. And when you do the pull-up, your butt's barely going to touch the ground, but you're not going to sit again. You're definitely going to be holding yourself up the entire time. So it's important to keep your back straight with, through that. Um, when you're, and when you're also, when you're doing these lunges, when you go back, you wanna go straight down. You don't want your knee to be overlapping your foot. You wanna be straight down. And you wanna be keeping your back straight for that movement as well. And when you go up onto the dip station to do the leg lift, you wanna lock your arms in place. These are gonna stabilize you as you go up. Keep your back straight and then kick your legs out in the front. So we're gonna superset those two together. And then we're, after we get a time on that, we're gonna move into the squat and the oblique twist. So we're gonna assume the same position that we were standing in when we were doing the lunge combo. And then we're just gonna go down into our squat, back straight, core tight, shoulders straight, your butt swings out, your knees aren't overlapping your feet. So you get down into your squat, and then you're gonna get into this position, holding your knees, and you're gonna turn to the left, turn to the right. Then we're gonna get into the squat position. Squat, turn, turn. And we'll do 10 of those. And then we're gonna immediately get into the angled push-up or angled pull-up. So instead of sitting up and down, our legs are gonna be straight out in front of us, holding on to the bars of the dip station, and we're gonna pull up. And that, keep your back straight. It's gonna be a great workout throughout your, your entire upper back, plus you're using your arms. So we'll do 10 of those, and then 10 of the squat oblique twist, four time. And once we finish that round, we're gonna, um, do bicycles and knee raises. So this is gonna actually be the only exercise that you need the mat for. So we're gonna lay, lay flat. Your knees are bent. Your um, fingertips are resting very gently behind your ears. You're not using your hands in any way to pull. You're 100% using your abs. But the reason that we have to have our hands in that position is when we do the bicycle, we're touching our elbow to our knee opposite elbow to opposite knee. So my right elbow is going to my left knee, left elbow is going to right knee. So that's one, two, we'll do 10 of those. And immediately after that, we'll do the knee, knee raises, where we're holding ourselves up again and we're just raising our knees. 
and we'll do 10, ten, ten of those. So once we finish that round, we'll have that time. So we're going to have all three rounds that are going to be timed. We're going to do five sets of exercises. So um, it's going to be a very good workout. We're not using any weights. We're using our bodies and the dip station. So let's see how fast that we can move through each of these rounds. And, um, and don't forget to warm up first. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do 15 minutes warm up on my art trainer and I'm going to do the ab twisties that I told you about in tightening up our core. So we're going to, I'm going to do that and then I'll see you at the workout. <laughs> 